This is a simulation of a car blowing up. The wreckage shows what a bomb can do. Footage captured with a high-speed camera shows us the blast and shrapnel landing several hundred meters away. In a real street, the debris would fly with deadly consequences. That's the power researchers here at Grinzion Research Center in Sweden try to contain. Illicit material detection is a growing concern at the European borders. In that respect, border security checkpoints must be particularly efficient against any kind of threat, and technology is considered to be of the utmost importance. This is definitely a joint European effort. It's a joint European problem. Terrorism are international, organized crime is international. So the Commission has today developed a plan together with the member state in order to uh, make better research and development in the field of uh, border controls, detection of illicit materials, explosive security and so on. Today the border officers are doing many things manually, but what we are trying to give to them is a technology solution so the human being can focus on what they're good at, detecting the things that don't fit in. Smuggling of people, smuggling of goods, illicit materials. We want to get the people working at the border uh, to do what human beings are best at. Detecting explosives is no easy task, and for employees here, this isn't exactly your typical 9 to 5 job. At the Explosives Laboratory, experts led by Anna Peterson are busy looking for things you can't see, like explosive vapors, and essentially creating new detection systems. This device is an outcome of the EFISEC project, funded by the EU's 7th Framework Programme, to detect samples such as chemicals or explosives, or to examine their molecular structure. Day in and day out, scientists and engineers work together with security forces for one purpose, to provide border authorities with more efficient technological equipment. It's important for us to have the support from the researchers about new technologies and even for the researchers to know what we need in the field, what kind of technology that we can use. We share the same objectives to fill in the gaps in security. And with this kind of visit, they can give us feedback to our research and we can help them to keep a finger on the pulse with respect to technological development. Researchers are also working on a machine which may represent the future of border screening. As the need for chemical, biological and explosive detection becomes more relevant in today's world, this laser technology will be an ideal diagnostics tool in the border guard's toolbox. What you do is you direct a laser beam towards, uh, for instance, a vehicle that is uh, passing or coming to a stop, and you look at the surface of the car door, and you can have an image that will tell you exactly what are the particles on the surface of the door uh, made of, what are the chemical constituents, and define if there is an explosive or not. The added value is that it really increases the security at the border checkpoint with respect to, to the explosive threat. Also, it will be possible to maintain the flow of traffic and it won't need uh, extra personnel to have it. A lot of technology is already being used across the EU. The hope is that the research done at facilities like Grinjon will eventually get officials to the point where all potential security threats are stopped before it is too late. This is the Bulgaria-Turkey border crossing at Kapitan Andrevo, one of the busiest entry points to the EU. The spotlight is on security. The expansion of the European Union has required a rethinking of how the EU's external borders can best be protected. Officials have been given the latest kits, from sniffer dogs to heartbeat and radiation detectors. However, improvements are still required to make sure that border crossings remain smooth and easy for the majority of people. This is where Frontex is expected to help. Throughout its five years of existence, the EU's border agency has coordinated border management strategy across the Union. Today, the agency is ready to adapt to new challenges and an ever-changing reality. We're working mainly with the border surveillance, exchange of information between member states, and we're also very much involved in biometrics and automated border crossing working with the member states to evaluate technologies to enable a quick and convenient passage of the borders, developing common minimum technical requirements and also common exchange with our best practices. I must say I'm happy with the improvements we can accomplish. 
Recent world events have highlighted the need for border security. The use of new technologies to manage EU entry points is very likely to feature high on the European agenda in the future. Here at Manchester Airport, safety and security come first, but a close second is the customer service that travellers receive. All the equipment and technology that EFISEC brought to the table has made travelling noticeably safer. The transposition of the project results to other types of checkpoints, for example at railway stations, in particular high-speed train HST TGV stations, should happen by 2014 to 2020. It will take a few more years, but FSX timing and approach have never been better.